bright duty every student matters now in this question there are two parallel lines okay if i take this as ab okay and this line is parallel to this line so if i draw a perpendicular here this angle is 90 degrees and i draw another line which is perpendicular to ab okay and let us say this is e this is f now what will be ab ef this will be a rectangle now i draw another quadrilateral on the same base ab same base ab but this time it is not a rectangle so let me draw it like this okay this is parallelogram a b c d their areas will obviously be equal why because these lie on same base ab and between same parallel lines let us say l and m okay so their areas are definitely equal but what about their perimeters if you look at the perimeters you can always say that ab is equal to ef ab is equal to ef which is also equal to cd because ab cd is a parallelogram so ab and cd are equal ab and ef are equal so that doesn't differentiate or that doesn't make a difference between the perimeters of parallelogram and rectangle so let us look at the other sides this angle is 90 degrees this angle is also 90 degrees can you say that ad is greater than af ad is greater than af yes why because ad is opposite this right angle and hence it will act as hypotenuse for triangle afd because ad is hypotenuse in right angle triangle afd hence it is the largest side or if you look at this triangle 90 degrees is the largest angle here right so side opposite to it is largest so it is definitely greater than af similarly you can say bc is greater than be okay now look at this if i talk about perimeter of abef perimeter of abef will be ab plus be plus ef plus af and perimeter of i hope you would have understood this question by now but i am explaining this further so that there is no doubt here abcd perimeter will be ab plus bc plus cd plus ad now can you say ab is equal to ab so we don't have to compare these these are anyways equal right which other side is equal cd is equal to ef cd is equal to ef so these are also equal and can be considered why are they equal because in a rectangle opposite sides are equal so ab is equal to ef in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal ab is also equal to cd so cd and ef are equal and hence they can be cancelled now out of these be af bc ad these we have to compare ad is greater than af right similarly bc is greater than be because these are hypotenuse in right angle triangles so bc plus ad will definitely be greater than be plus af hence perimeter of abcd which is a parallelogram on base ab is greater than perimeter of rectangle abef which is also on the same base ab okay in figure d and e in figure d and e are two points on bc such that bd de and ec are equal so this segment this segment and this segment are equal show that these areas triangle abd triangle ade and aec are equal so these are equal because their bases 
are of equal lengths when I am considering BD, DE, EC as their bases. Okay, and their heights are also equal because from this vertex A, if I drop a perpendicular on this line BC, this will act as height for all these three triangles. Their height is equal which is distance of vertex A from line BC right which I have denoted by H here. So if their base bases are of equal and their heights are equal what about their areas area is nothing but half into base into height base is equal height is equal so their areas are equal hence these areas are equal and I have given the reason here for that matter if you divide this base into let us say n equal parts and then you make these triangles right all of these triangles will have equal areas if these parts are equal right because these lengths are equal base lengths are equal and their height will be nothing but distance of this vertex from this line this will be height for all of these triangles so their bases are equal their heights are equal hence these areas will be equal so we can explain the concept or question about field of Budhiya that it was divided into three equal parts using the same concept okay in figure ABCD DCFE and ABFE are parallelograms so these are parallelograms as you can see now show that area of ADE is equal to area of BCF right so look at this a, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So, this side A, B and C, D will be equal. And also A, D and B, C will be equal. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Hence, opposite sides A, D and B, C are equal. Opposite sides of a parallelogram. Similarly, these two sides will be equal D, E and C, F. Why? Because D C E D C F E is a parallelogram, hence D E is equal to C F. You understand where I am getting to? A B A F E A A B F E is a parallelogram, hence I can say A E is equal to B F. Now given these three equalities can I say in triangle ADE and triangle BCF all three sides are equal hence triangle ADE is congruent to triangle BCF by side 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 congruency rule right I have shown you that in these two triangles all three sides are equal so these two triangles are congruent hence their areas are equal hence their areas are equal ok ABCD is a parallelogram BC is produced to Q such that AD is equal to CQ so this AD is equal to CQ now ABCD is given as a parallelogram so AD is already equal to BC pair of opposite sides opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and AD is also given as equal to CQ so BC and CQ will also be equal so let me mark it now we will be able to visualize the question better if AQ intersect DC at P okay this is point P show that area of BPC is equal to area of DPQ okay first thing I want is you join these points A and C now you would notice that AD is equal to CQ AD is parallel to CQ 
but because CQ is nothing but it is side BC extended, right? So AD and BC are parallel. That means AD and CQ are also parallel. So ACDQ or ACQD is a parallelogram, right? And I have already shown you that in a parallelogram, the diagonals divide the parallelogram in four equal areas. So can I say that in parallelogram ACQD, if this area is A, this area will also be A? Yes, because it's a parallelogram. Or otherwise, you can say that in a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. So you can say that this PD is equal to PC and QP being the median, it will divide this triangle DQC into equal areas. So this is A, this is A, right? This is understood. Now, PC is also a median in triangle PQB. I have already shown you that CQ is equal to BC. So, area of triangle PCQ will be equal to area of triangle PCB or BPC. So, this will also be A. Now, you can see clearly that this area DPQ is equal to area BPC. Okay. I am not writing these steps because this is an optional exercise. This is not from the examination point of view. This is to strengthen your concepts. And I don't want to write each and every step for you. You write these steps. You have understood this question, right? What I done in this question is, I joined A with C. Then I showed that A, C, Q, D is a parallelogram. And if it is a parallelogram, the diagonals will divide it into four area, four equal triangles, four triangles of equal areas. So these two areas are also equal and by PC being the median, these two areas are equal. So area of triangle DPQ is equal to area of triangle BPC. This is what we have to prove. Okay. So these are the steps. Okay. ABC and BDE are two equilateral triangles. So that D is the midpoint of BC. Okay. If AE intersects BC at F, okay, show that area of BDE is one fourth of area of ABC. This is quite evident that D is midpoint of BC. So if I join A with D, AD will be the median. AD is the median. Also, AD is the altitude. Why? Because ABC is given as an equilateral triangle and in equilateral triangles, median or the altitude, these are same, right? So this angle here is 90 degrees, right? And what about other angles? This angle is 60. This angle is 60 degrees. This angle is also 60 degrees because this triangle BDE is also equilateral. So this angle is 60. This angle is also 60 degrees. Now if you just look at these two angles, this one and this one, these are alternate interior angles. So this side is parallel to this side. Right. Similarly, this angle here, this angle and this angle. These two are also alternate interior angles. So this side is parallel to this side. Right? Now let us proceed with the question. Area of triangle BDE okay, is one fourth of area of ABC. So, if we know the formula for area of an equilateral triangle, so let us say triangle ABC has got side A units. So, what will be the area? Root 3 by 4 side squared. Now, triangle BDE has got half the side of triangle ABC because D is given as midpoint. So, BD is half of BC. So, every side of triangle BDE is half of ABC, sides of ABC, right? So, area of triangle BDE will be root 3 by 4 
a by 2 which is the side of triangle BDE squared. So the, if you compare these areas, you cannot compare root 3 by 4 because it is there in both the triangles or let me write this as A, capital A. So what will be this? It will be root 3 by 4 A square into 1 by 4. This is capital A. So this area is 1 fourth of this area. This is what we need to prove in first part here. Okay. I need to prove that area of BDE is half the area of BAE and I have already proved that BEA, that area BAE is equal to area BEC because these lie on same base BE and between same parallel lines BE and AC. Now BAE and BEC are in, are equal in area and BCE is half the area of ABC, right? So BAE will also be half the area of ABC, right? BAE is half the area of ABC. So what will be BDE? It will be one fourth of the area of ABC, which is true, right? So you can start with here that area of BDE is one fourth of area of ABC, right? And ABC is nothing but ABC can be replaced by double the area of BAE. So now you can see, and this will give you area of BDE is half the area of BAE. Okay, so this is how you will go ahead with the second part. Once you have proved first and second part, now we can look at the third part. Area of ABC is double the area of BEC. There is nothing new in this question. I have already proved that BEC and BEA have got the same area. Right? BEA and BEC have got same area. And BEA is half the area of ABC, right? This BEA and BEC have got equal areas and these are equal to half of ABC. So BEC will also be half of ABC, that is ABC will be double of BEC. There is nothing new in this part. Okay, this is what we have already proved or you can see directly here in this relation. If you multiply this two here, you will get this relation. Now look at this BFE and AFD. BFE, that is this triangle and AFD, that is this triangle. So area of BFE and AFD, these are equal. How? These two lines are parallel, right? So area of this triangle BEA and BDE are equal because these lie on same base BE and same parallel lines AB and ED. So if you subtract this common area, this area ABF will be equal to FED. Look at this, these two triangles. Triangle EFD and triangle EDA. These two triangles lie on same base ED and between same parallel lines AB and ED. So these have equal area. If you subtract this common area, then this area will be equal to this area, which is what we need to prove. What I mean to say is, let us say you have got two parallel lines, right, like this. These two are parallel lines. And then you make these two triangles here. Right? So, what I mean is that this area will be equal to this area because these lie on same base and between same parallel line. So, if I subtract this area, then this will be equal to this. And it is always true. 
right when we have got two parallel lines this situation will always be true so i can directly say that this area is equal to this area or what you can say is you can first prove that area of ade let me show it clearly okay now got this space now see area of ade is equal to area bde because these two triangles lie on base de and between same parallel lines ab and de so these areas are equal now if i subtract what do i need first of all let us see i need bfe so let me subtract this fde on both sides so if i subtract area fde area fde on both sides i will get the desired result that is part fourth it is proved okay so this area if this is x then this will also be x okay this much is understood now we will prove the fifth part i am doing all the parts here because i need the diagram every time i prove a result bfe and fed bfe that is this area and fed that is this area in these two areas we need to prove the relationship that area bfe is double the area of fed we have already proved that this area is equal to this area so we can now prove that area of afd is double of area of fed and the fifth part will be proved right so look at area of afd if you look at this altitude here it is root 3 by 2a we already discussed about it and what is the altitude of this triangle fde it is the altitude for this equilateral triangle bde which is half of this altitude right so this altitude here is root 3 by 4a right so if i consider this fd as base for this triangle and also this triangle fd is equal in both the cases but its altitude that means this triangle's altitude is double of the altitude of this triangle hence the area of this triangle is double the area of triangle fde okay so what i am trying to say here is that area of this triangle afd is double the area of triangle fed hence area of bfe will also be double of area of fed hence the fifth part is proved and why i am saying so fd is base for afd as well as fde right for both these triangles fd is the base altitude of afd altitude of afd is root 3 by 2a and altitude of fde is root 3 by 4a you can calculate it otherwise you know that the sides of bde are halves of sides of abc so its altitude will also be half of altitude of abc okay because all the equilateral triangles have same ratios of sides altitude if the sides are halves the altitudes will also be half otherwise you can see that we have already proved that area of this triangle bde is 1/4 of the area of triangle abc from there you can compare because the area is nothing but root 3 by 4 side square right so you can compare it from there also that the altitude of triangle bde will be half of altitude of triangle abc right area of bde is half is 1/4 of area of abc this is what we have proved here now what is area of bde is half into bd into altitude fe and what is area of abc it is 1/4 into area of abc is half into bc into altitude ad from here you can get the relation that i was talking about okay because 
BD is also half of BC, right? So you can write twice of BD here. So if you cancel it like this, you will have two here. So two can be cancelled here, right? This is also gone. So AD is double of FE. Okay. Now I leave it to you to understand it in depth by solving it yourself. Now let us look at the last part of this question, which says area of FED, that is this area, is one eighth of the area of AFC. One eighth of the area of AFC. We know that area of FED is half of AFD. Right? Area of FED is half of BFE. This we already know. So, if let us say this is X FED, then what will be BFE? It will be 2X. We have already proved here. Right? And BFE and AFD are equal. So, this area will also be 2X. Understand this. I started with FED. I took it as X. So, BFE will be double of it. So, 2X and BFE and AFD are equal. Hence, this is also 2X. Now, if BDE is 3X, so this area in total, BDE is 3X. So, what will be this area? This area will also be 3X because EDC, area of EDC is equal to BDE. Okay. So, this is also 3X. Now, look at this. 2x plus x plus 3x, 6x, 6x and abc. How are these compared? abc is double of bec. This is also something we have already proved, right? Right. So, the entire area, that is this area of abc will be equal to 12x. Out of these 12x, this part adc will have 6x. Right? Why? Because I have already proved that this area of ABC is double the area of BEC. So, I have taken this area as 6x. So, area of ABC will be 12x. And if it is 12x, then ADC will have 6x area because AD is the median. Now, look at this. AFC has got 8x and FDE has got x. So, obviously, FED is one eighth of AFC. I leave the rest to you. Right? I have explained it enough. Now, you write these steps and you understand this question once again. Okay? So, thank you for listening to me. This was about this exercise here. I hope you have understood it well and you don't have any confusion in this chapter now. Thank you.